Hey guys, let's get more news from SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. 49ers, Kyle Shanahan is the second HC to accomplish this playoff feat. San Francisco 49ers head coach Kyle Shanahan is already regarded among the best at his profession. But he further cemented his place at the top when he accomplished something over the weekend that only one head coach in NFL history had achieved until that point when he reached his fourth conference championship game in his first four playoff appearances, joining former 49ers great George Seifert, who made it to five straight conference title games in his first five postseasons, as the only ones to ever do so. However, a loss the Detroit Lions this weekend and Shanahan will be on the wrong side of history as he would join John Madden, Oakland Raiders, 1973-75, Chuck Knox, Los Angeles Rams, 1974-76, Tom Landry, Dallas Cowboys, 1980-82, and Andy Reid, Philadelphia Eagles, 2001-2003 as the only five head coaches to lose three straight conference championship games. Shanahan has a 7-3 playoff record, making it to the NFC Championship game in 2020, 2022, 2023, and 2024. He won his first conference title game with a 12-point win over the Green Bay Packers, but lost his next two to the Rams and Eagles the last two seasons. Conversely, Seifert, who had a 6-3 record in his first four postseason trips, won his first NFC Championship game against the Rams, and subsequently the Super Bowl in a 45-point romp of the Denver Broncos, but he lost his next three NFCG appearances against the New York Giants and the Cowboys, twice. 49ers QB Brock Purdy explains his viral moment versus Packers. San Francisco 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy went viral in this past Saturday's divisional playoff game against the Green Bay Packers when Fox television cameras caught him wiping his hand dry following the snap of the ball while playing in rainy conditions. Purdy offered a simple explanation regarding his unusual behavior during a conversation with NFL insider Albert Breer of Sports Illustrated. There were spurts of the rain coming down somewhat heavy, and then other times where it was just sprinkling, and we were able to get a grip on it and throw. Purdy told Breer. The field was wet. When my center would snap the ball, I would sometimes get a wet ball. That's when I think I wiped it a couple of times as I'm dropping. While the numbers show that Purdy completed 23 of 39 passes for 252 yards with one touchdown and no interceptions against Green Bay, he visibly struggled to deal with the elements up until he connected on six of seven pass attempts for 47 yards during what became a late game winning drive. As Jennifer Lee Chan of NBC Sports Bay Area pointed out, the 24-year-old tried wearing a glove on his throwing hand but had discarded it long before he made his biggest throws of a thrilling 24-21 victory. Got to find a way, Purdy added during his chat with Breer. Definitely played a factor in the beginning. That's football. Nervous San Francisco fans will likely be happy to know that the NFL weather and RotoWare websites showed as of early Tuesday evening that the forecast for this coming Sunday's NFC Championship game between the Detroit Lions and the 49ers indicated that Purdy and company will enjoy relatively dry conditions at Levi's Stadium. Also on Tuesday, DraftKings Sportsbook listed the Niners as seven-point favorites to defeat the Lions and advance to Super Bowl 58. Dak Prescott sent to SAN Francisco, 49ers in wild trade scenario. The Dallas Cowboys' Super Bowl dreams in the 2023 NFL season crashed and burned after Dak Prescott and company were eliminated from the NFL playoffs by the Green Bay Packers in the wildcard round. This early exit from the postseason has opened the floodgates again for fans and pundits alike to wonder if it's time for the Cowboys to move on from Prescott. This seems like a drastic move for the Cowboys. But could he actually end up adapting to another team like the Pittsburgh Steelers when the 2024 NFL campaign rolls around? A fan raised the idea of Pittsburgh pursuing Dak Prescott via trade, a point that was recently covered by Chat Sports Steelers Talk. What are the chances of the SAN Francisco 49ers trading for Dak Prescott this offseason after another playoff loss in Dallas? Any chance they get rid of Dak this offseason? For one thing, Dak Prescott is an expensive asset. He just signed a four-year contract extension with the Cowboys in 2021 worth $160 million. He has a whopping $59 million cap hit in 2024. 
If the cowboys were to trade Prescott, they would have to eat a painful dead cap hit. The same cap hit would also be too much for the SAN Francisco 49ers to accommodate, according to Sperry. Either way, the Steelers can't be satisfied with their quarterback situation. Kenny Pickett doesn't look like Pittsburgh's long-term answer at center. Mason Rudolph is a free agent at the end of the 2023 season, while Mitchell Trubisky is, well, Mitchell Trubisky. And you fan, what do you think of the Kirk Cousins situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.